Welcome to this tutorial on creating 3D pipe geometry and mesh in open form. In this tutorial, we will learn to create a 3D geometry using block mesh dict, mesh a 3D geometry, label the boundary patches, check the mesh results using check mesh command, and view the 3D geometry and mesh in ParaView. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04, OpenFoam version 7, ParaView version 5.6.0, and Gedit text editor. You may use any other editor of your choice. As a prerequisite, you should be familiar with creation of basic geometry using the block mesh utility. If you are not, please go through the prerequisite open form tutorial on this website. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract them make a copy and then use them while practicing. In this tutorial, we will learn to create the geometry for hagen pose flow through a pipe. The problem description of hagen pose flow through a pipe is shown in the diagram. This is the diagram of the geometry for hagen pose flow through a pipe. The left and right faces are the inlet and outlet respectively. The cylindrical face of the geometry is a wall. The diameter of the pipe is 1 cm and its length is 30 cm. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys. At the prompt, type the following command to go to the run directory. Here onwards, please remember to press the enter key after typing each command. Let us now copy the cavity case from the icofoam tutorial directory to the run directory. Type the following command to do so. Note that the cavity case is copied to the pipe directory. In this tutorial, we don't need to define initial and boundary conditions in zero time. Type this command to rename 0 folder to 0.org. The block mesh dict file is located in the system folder. Open this file in a text editor. I am doing it in gedit text editor. Now we can see the block mesh dict file in the text editor. Delete the lines from convert to meters to the end of the file as shown here. The remaining content is common for all block mesh dict files. Next, open the pipe.txt file that you had downloaded in the text editor. Copy the entire content of the text file. Now switch back to the block mesh dict file and paste the copied content into the block mesh dict file as shown. Note that all the dimensions will be in centimeters. Vertices are shown in the slide. Here we are going to use 18 vertices to define the geometry of a pipe. For example, two reference points 0 and 17 are on 0, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 30 respectively. All 18 points are defined in the vertices section in the block mesh dict file as shown. Now let me switch back to the slides. Here we will use five hexahedral blocks to define the pipe geometry. As you can see, the center hexahedral block is separately shown in the figure on the right. To define this block, we need to type the back planes vertices first. The vertices should be ordered anti-clockwise when viewed along the negative z-axis. The front planes vertices should also follow the same order. An example is shown in the slide. 
the same block can be defined correctly in more than one way. To generate 3D mesh, we are using 8 cells in X direction, 8 cells in Y direction and 80 cells in Z direction. Other four blocks are defined in the block mesh dict file as shown. For the curved geometry, we need to define the edges. There are a total of 16 arcs that we need to define. The arcs and the intermediate points are shown in the slide. Note that I have used the midpoint of the arc as the intermediate point. However, any other point through which the arc passes is acceptable. For example, the edge from point number 5 to 6 is passing through 0, 0 0.5, 0. All 16 arcs are defined in the edges section in the block mesh dict file as shown. The curved edge connecting points 5 and 6 is defined as shown. The edge is an arc. Its two end points are 5 and 6. The coordinates of the point through which the arc passes through is 0, 0 0.5, 0. Let us label the boundary patches. The boundary faces should be labeled appropriately. The labels are used to impose boundary conditions on the respective faces. The inlet boundary is defined as shown. The inlet boundary has five faces. These faces are defined as shown. The outlet and wall boundary is defined as shown. Note that all boundaries have more than one face. We do not have any patches or internal faces to merge. Therefore, we leave the merge patch pairs field empty. Now, save the block mesh dict file and close the text editor. Now go to the terminal and navigate to the pipe directory. Type block mesh command and press enter. The meshing is now complete. As we can see in terminal results, three patches are created. Now let us check mesh results and quality. To do that, type check mesh in the terminal and press enter. Note that M in check mesh is capital. We get the results printed of the mesh we created. Here we can see skewness, orthogonality, aspect ratio, negative volume values if they are present. In our case, no negative volume was present. Bounding box coordinates and number of cells with their types. To view mesh in ParaView, type ParaFoam and press Enter. Click on Apply on the left side of your window in the Properties tab. Now you can see pipe geometry in the layout window. You can rotate geometry in the layout window by pressing the left mouse button and dragging. Click on Surface available in the Active Variable Controls. Then change it to Surface with Edges. Click on VTK block colors available in the active variable controls and change it to solid color. You can now see the mesh structure of pipe geometry that we created. You can close the ParaView window. With this, we have come to the end of the tutorial. To summarize, in this tutorial, we have learned to create a 3D geometry using block mesh dict, mesh a 3D geometry, label the boundary patches, check the mesh results using check mesh command, and view the 3D geometry and mesh in ParaView. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. Please contact us.
Please post your timed queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions? Please visit the forum given in this link. The FOSI team coordinates solving feasible CFD problems of reasonable complexity using open form. We give honorarium and certificates to those who do this. For more details, please visit these sites. The Spoken Tutorial Project is supported by MHRD, Government of India. The script for this tutorial is contributed by Divyesh Varya and this is Vetan Sridhar from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.